panda, 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 panda. I got brides in Atlanta, chicks with Dolly in the family, credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van. Legacy. Hello and welcome to you all once again in Learn Your YouTube channel. Today again I am here with one new QBC program. As you can see here, screen write a program to display first in natural number. This is our question. Okay, let's get into the program. At first, CLS that helps to clear the screen. And after using CLS, now we are going to use loop. Now, before using loop, I would like to explain something about loop. What is loop? How it works? Loop is a set of instruction that repeat the block of a statement to the given number of times or until the given condition is satisfied. Okay. As you can see in the question, we are going to display first 10 natural number. It means our output should come 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All together, 10 term should be our output. So we use for i is equal to 1 to 10. This is our loop for loop. Now we are going to use one statement print i. This print i statement will be repeated 10 times. Why? Because here we have given for i is equal to 1 to 10. Altogether, how many digit we want? In our output screen, 10 digit, 10 term we want. So for i is equal to 1 to 10, print i means this this is a block of a statement that repeat until the given condition is satisfied or to the given number of times here now we do next i it means to increase the value of i by one and finally print now let me explain again at first our qac program starts with cls and after here is the looping for i is equal to one to ten why 1 to 10? Because we are going to display 10 natural number altogether 10 term. So for i is equal to 1 to 10. Now print i. The value of i is 1 now. Yes. Print i. If we do print i, then 1 will be displayed in our output screen. Now next i. The value of i is increased by 1 now. Before it was 1, now it became 2. Again, checking the condition for i is 1 to 10, it is satisfied. Again, this condition is satisfied, then this statement will be repeated. Print i statement will be repeated. Now, print i again, the value of i is 2 now, it will display 2. Now, again, next statement that is next i, the value of i is increased by 1. Now, it became 3. Checking the condition for i is 1 to 10, yes, condition is satisfied again. Print i, the value of i is 3 in 3 now, it will display 3. Now again, next i, the value of i became now 4. Again, checking the condition, condition is satisfied. Print i, it means it will display 4 now. In the same way, the value of i will increase up to 10. And then, when, when the value of i became 11, the condition is not satisfied. This for i is 1 to 10 is not satisfied, then it became end. Finally, we get 10 term, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 in our output screen. Means this print i will be repeated 10 times because we are given here condition for i is, is equal to 1 to 10. So it will be repeated. This statement will be repeated 10 times and finally we can get the output first 10 natural number. Okay, let's run the QBasic program by pressing F5. Okay, you can see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Altogether 10 term. So this is our output screen. Okay, hope you understood the QBasic program to display first 10 natural number. If you have any confusion, comment below so that I can reply you and if you are new in this YouTube channel don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.